What's going on guys, welcome back to Blues Fans TV and welcome back to another video. Just before we start this video, I want to say if you want to check the best app for all your quickest football news, don't forget to check out the One Football app, we're going to leave a link down in the description below. Now, we're going to talk about a topic that we probably should have spoken about for a long time, it's the goalkeeping situation we've had at Chelsea. Now, we're deep into the winter break, the Chelsea Leicester game happened a couple, game, a couple of days ago and we all know one of the key talking points going into that game was Kepa being dropped. Now, I think this is the first time Kepa has been dropped for a league game this season. We had Willy Caballero start the game instead as a replacement. And but for a lot of, for some fans, it feels like it's been a long time coming. I've been a huge supporter of Kepa, but I understand he's had a poor season this season. And he had a great start to last season. He had a great start to English football with 14 clean sheets in the league last season. He also had some key moments for us in the cup semi-final against Frankfurt. You look at the cup semi-final second leg against Spurs as well. Kepa had a pretty good first season for us. But this season it's all turned on its head and his performances just continued and continued to come into scrutiny as the season's gone on. He's only had five clean sheets so far this season and also the lowest save percentage shots faced inside the box and expected, expected goals prevented percentage. Sorry, it's a massive mouthful. I'm going to redo that in fact. He's only had five clean sheets so far this season and he's lowest in the Premier League for save percentage, for shots faced inside the box and also for expected goals prevented with only a 55.56 save percentage. Now, again for reference, Pickford is the next goalkeeper above him in 19th and he's got 63.4%. Save percentage from shots as well is at 50% which is again the lowest in the league. 19th is Nick Pope on 57%. And I think... And if the biggest stat that says it all is that at present no side has conceded a higher proportion of shots faced than this Chelsea side since records began in 03 04. Now, the first thing I want to say is Kepa shouldn't take all of the blame for our issues at the back this season. Let's be real, our defence has been sus all season. I think. Even now, I think we're still trying to figure out what our best defensive back four is or back five. I mean, we've had, we've been waiting for Reese James to come back from injury. We've had injuries to Tomori. We've been waiting for Rudiger to come back from injury for months. But still, the same way, as much as our defence has been sus and we've struggled to keep a clean sheet for a long part of this season, it's still also the goalkeeper's job and Kepa still has to take a good amount of blame for it. It's, it's both ways. The defence has to take some of the blame because they're the ones meant to be protecting the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, same way, his only job is to keep the ball out of the net. And right now, Kepa's got the lowest save percentage in the league. So as much as the defence might not be helping him out, Kepa's not exactly doing himself any favours either. And we should, we want to take a look at what Kepa's been doing wrong in this video. Now, one of the key things that stands out whenever whenever I'm in the stands, I always, you know, you know when you're in the stands, you always hear the first, the first time you ever hear a player mess up, you can hear it going around the stands. Now, one of the issues with Kepa is the lack of presence in the penalty box, and whenever he jumps out to attack crosses and corners, he always seems to be a bit slow, like he's already underestimating himself or if he's already shown a little bit of nervousness and second guessing and in the Premier League that is vital those few seconds the Premier League is probably the most intense league in the world and the balls will be coming in quickly and the problem with Kepa is he doesn't really he doesn't really control his box that's his problem you see the balls coming into the box he's not the first one to it might not even be the second one to it sometimes it's been a huge problem for him this season another big problem with him was getting a weak hand onto his shot and this one is also give or take because one of Kepa's strengths for me is also his reaction saves I think he's an amazing reaction saver of the ball but I think it's also regressed this season you look at Isaac Hayden's winner for us for Newcastle against us for example he should have really got a stronger hand to it I get the ball came to him really quickly and the guy took the header out from about three four yards out but his reaction saves used to be so much quicker I remember he had some brilliant brilliant reaction saves from us I can't really single out the games for us last season the only one that that quickly comes to my head is Watford I think the last home game for us this season he had a brilliant save in the first half but reaction saves has been yet another issue for him and I feel like confidence must be a problem for him and I think it's been a recurring problem this whole season that's why this has been building throughout the whole season. There's been like quiet murmurs about Kepa as the season started and as the season progresses, it's only seemed to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think 
confidence must be a problem with him. Some newspaper articles are also saying he broke up with his long-term girlfriend. If that's also happened, then that's obviously going to be a key factor to it as well. Like outside issues can all definitely have an impact on your football, on your footballing talent and your form, your form as well. If you want to use Alvaro Morata as an example, not an excuse because Alvaro Morata was a dog shit attacker for us, but. I remember in his first season for Chelsea, Morata was struggling with a lot of personal issues and that probably still would have amounted to some of the poor form that he had in that first season. Now he was dropped for Leicester with the winter break coming up, which can go one or two ways. Some play, some managers, some sources are saying that Caballero could potentially be starting more games for us. I personally think this is Frank Lampard trying to motivate Kepa. He's given him the entire winter break to sit down and to think about the last couple of weeks. And it's also a bit... It's also given him two weeks to reflect over him being dropped for the Leicester game and to react. And I feel like Lampard could be doing it to try and motivate him. If Lampard's trying to use, do it to motivate him, it's a smart tactical move from Lampard. But same way, Kepa also needs to react. That next game against Manchester United is going to be key. And if Kepa starts, Kepa needs to have an amazing performance. Especially with his Spain number two playing on the other side of the pitch as well. You know David De Gea is going to be trying to get back into that Spain lineup as well. Especially with the Euros coming up. Now's the perfect time to start bringing in those performances. And I believe Kepa's got those performances in him. That first season was great from him. It was a great starting season from him. Like I said, 15 clean sheets, it speaks for itself. Reaction saves were brilliant from him. I still think sometimes he might have had a weak hand, some balls. I remember some goals last season, Mikatarians against Suz for, for an example. I feel like he could have got a better hand to it. But that improved towards the end of the season. Now we're just starting to see him regress a little bit. And now there's also questions about whether Caballero is going to be starting games for us. And Mario Melchior had some choice word to say about it. He thinks Caballero could actually become Chelsea's number one keeper. He said on Sky, he said on Sky Sports News, as long as he keeps performing, I could see him keep his place. We all know Caballero, sometimes he gets too comfortable on the ball and takes too much time. I don't want him to take it I don't want him to take any risks. Just play a simple game like you would expect a goalkeeper to do. If he does that, I don't see how Kepa's gonna get his spot back. The defence has also been questioned, but now that Antonio Rudiger came back, Frank maybe feels, okay, I, ha I have now a main focus point. Now I need my goalkeeper to be solid. I can't have a liability. Which does make a bit of sense. We did question the defence and what our starting defensive lineup was going to be. But I think even since we come back, I think the defence hasn't really been that solid. I think the best performance I've seen for them this year probably was just a clean sheet at home against Burnley. But other than that, looked a little bit sus. Arsenal we looked a little bit suspect, uh, Leicester City I thought we were solid in parts but there were still some shaky moments from us in defence, I think Rudiger did well to score two goals but I think also first half he was still a little bit dodgy, just a little bit. Now uh, Mel Melchior keeps going, he says, I was at the game when Ajax turned up which was the 4-4 draw in November and he conceded a free kick and I looked at it like what's going on? the decision making and not making the right adjustments that wasn't good enough and it's yet again something we've spoken before in this video and he says I don't want to say that Kepa is not a good goalkeeper but you don't want your goalkeeper to be a liability and Chelsea have never had that you look at Kudacini, you look at Petr Cech, you look at Thibaut Quarter as he says in the example All of, we've had a lot of pretty good goalkeepers and he also says when a goalkeeper gets pulled out of a starting 11 it's way different than a player now that is a very true quote because like for example, when we all saw the lineup for Leicester, we were all shocked that Kepa got dropped for a league game. It means a lot more when a goalkeeper's been dropped because goalkeeper's meant to be the player that you rely on and like we said, Kepa hasn't been in good form. But I don't think it's it for Kepa, him just being dropped because I think it's a, if I think it's a much I think it's a more motivational move from Frank Lampard. Personally, I think Kepa, I think Caballero had a decent game against Leicester, but I don't think he had a great game. I still think he was to blame for that second goal because did the same thing that I think Kepa has been criticised for a lot this season. Poor decision making. He went out and tried to get that poor cross that went across the face of goal, but he didn't go with enough speed and it went straight to another re Leicester player. They sent it back into the box on a rebound and Chilwell put it into an empty net. That was Caballero's one. Caballero takes blame for that. I don't really put a lot of criticism for him because he's your sub goalie and let's be real, your sub goalkeepers, you get what you're given with them. If they were a quality goalkeeper, they'd be at another club starting every week. So you get what you're given with the sub goalkeepers. But I don't think that's it for Kepa. I think if Kepa comes up against Manchester United, that's probably going to be the biggest game of his season and he really, really needs to show up. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know whether you agree or disagree with any of our comments. 
Let me know who you want to see starting against Manchester United. Do you want to see Kepa starting? Do you want to see Willy Caballero starting? Let me also know if you want to see Kepa be our starting goalkeeper for next season. If you want to see us maybe look to another goalkeeper. And if you do, let me know what goalkeeper you want to see down in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to Blues Fans TV. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G as well. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are this close to 100k. Help us out. We'll see you guys after winter break. Up the Chelsea.